All right, 1997 Subaru Impreza. The transmission is called a 4EAT. And the reason why I got this, uh, tra this car in from a wholesale account is because of a hard code of P0743. It's like TCC solenoid circuit. Now this transmission is very similar to the RE4 R01A and like an O2 Pathfinder. And I have that other video uh, of the 740 code of me swapping out the lockup solenoid. Okay, so this is gonna be something similar, but here's the deal with this. Uh, when you call Subaru to find out availability of the lockup solenoid, they want you to buy the whole kit, meaning on the upper side of the valve body, just like on the Pathfinder units, you have the solenoid pack, four solenoids, the two shift, the coast clutch, and the EPC, and then on the lower half by itself, you have the lockup solenoid. Well, Subaru, even though you just had you need the one solenoid from Subaru, you gotta buy the whole thing. It's like three or four hundred dollars uh, from the dealer. Uh, I called my supplier. He didn't really have it. He had a listing on it, but he didn't have it. So I started, I knew the transmissions were very similar, so I started doing some research and I found out that the lockup solenoid from the Nissans are electrically and mechanically exactly the same. But there is a difference, and that would be the connector. So I'm gonna, we're gonna go take the solenoid off. I'll get it on the bench, and I got the new solenoid here. I got the new solenoid here, which is a Nissan solenoid, OE solenoid. And we're gonna get it on the bench. Well, I didn't even own that one yet because we just got this in late, and I wanted to get the pan down last night so I can just do this uh, quick filming. And I was doing the research uh, before I went home, uh, and I confirmed that, again, it's electrically, mechanically the same. So let's go to the car, and we're going to take the solenoid down, and then we'll compare the two here. And pretty much to make this solenoid work, the, the only difference is, is what you're going to see, is the connector. All right, the connector here. So you basically just got to... You know, cut it here, cut that there, solder the connector on, and you have a Subaru solenoid. And you don't have to buy the whole pack. That's the, the main reason for the video, uh, is just to let you know that you can do that, just in case you ever have this problem, and you don't have to buy the whole pack and drop the valve body out. So it's a, it'd be a, end up being a pretty simple fix. All right, so I'm gonna head over to the car, and we'll drop the solenoid out, and then come back to the bank. So uh, next will be a shot of the trans in the car. All right, so here is the solenoid. Uh, that's part of the harness. This is uh, part of the, this is part of the solenoid, the connector. So we're gonna take this down. plate on the other side. Okay, so here is the solenoid. All right, now we're gonna uh, get set up back on the bench. I like to own this, because I didn't even do that yet. And then we'll uh, look at the two, and I'll show you what has to be done to just make this into, to make the other one into a solenoid that'll fit.
All right, so I got the ohm meter set up. This is the solenoid that come out of the car. All right, so let's see what we got. All right, that's a little low, or it's way low. Probably should be, uh, these are probably about like 14, 4.755, okay. And now here is the Nissan one. And for what I understand, these these Nissan solenoids for the RE for the RE for RO1A from like 89 and up are all the same. All right, and here is the Nissan solenoid, the new one. Okay, that's 15, 14. All right, settling down. Yeah, let me get a better. Uh, Probably to have a good ground. Okay, so we know that that solenoid, we know that solenoid is shorted. All right, and again, to make it, let's get rid of this here. All right, now we'll put the two solenoids together here, so you can see the difference in the connectors. Okay, so we're just going to cut it. We're going to solder it. And we're gonna install it back. I'll, once it's soldered, I'll just ohm check it again just to make sure. And then we're gonna solder it back. Uh, and, I'm sorry, install it back. And it'll be a fix. Okay, so here is the, uh, if you can see that part number there. This is an OE solenoid. Now I got this from my supplier, so this should be a good part number for an OE solenoid. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, again, uh, when we did call Subaru about the solenoid, they said you got to buy the whole thing. And I think uh, I get parts at a discount because I'm a shop. And I think my cost was over $300 for the whole deal. Uh, and this I got from my supplier. That was like 100 bucks, something like that. And it's going to be a fix. So. Uh, I just wanted to share that information uh, with you guys just in case um, you guys ever come across it out there. All right, so you can use the Nissan solenoid from the RE4 RO1A in the Subaru. You can probably honestly use the solenoid pack too, but again, the connectors are going to be different. You know, you just have to, again, cut and splice it. Um, and you should be good to go, but uh, as far as I can see, mechanically and electrically, the two solenoids are exactly the same. All right, just the connector is different. All right, so I just want to share that with you guys. I thank you guys for watching. Have a great day, and we'll see you next one.